Hey guys, welcome to RPA Feed. In this video, we'll be looking at uh, how you can resolve this error. You have been running the bot and due to some issue, your bot gets stuck and it neither allows you to do a new bot run. And whenever you try to delete your device and reinstall a bot agent, you, you get this kind of error. You cannot delete a device as it's a part of an active bot deployment. The bot deployment window or the, that process uh, is linked to your device and which is not allowing you to delete your device so what is the solution for this we'll talk about the workaround so this is uh, the workaround which you can use like you can try restarting your bot agent services you can go to devices and try removing the devices if you have permission to do so most of the community uh, in community edition we do not have option to modify devices like we can delete the devices but there are, there are uh, some restrictions in editing the device uh, related configurations so you can try this uh, you can try the uninstalling the bot and deleting the files in system 32 you can try to uh, remove and add the device if after trying all this workaround steps still you are facing the issue um, still you are not able to resolve uh, the issue then for that matter we have uh, the APIs which you can utilize uh, to remove your device to disconnect so for example uh, if you can see here in the activities in progress you have an active uh, activity uh, which is stuck uh, which is stuck in in progress you can neither see the bot runner window but you can see this uh, this chatbot is stuck it is uh, uh, the process is stuck basically and because of this you will not be able to run any other new bot uh, run for example here is the hello world bot so let me run this hello world bot and you'll face an error uh, like the user is already running a bot on this device so like you can try the workarounds which uh, I've shown you but that will that does not work in some of the cases so what you can do is now you might, might uh, try to go to the device section and try removing this device you have a delete button over here delete device yes but you will still face this issue cannot delete device as it's a part of an active bot deployment so what to do in such cases in such cases you have to use one api which uh, using which you can delete this device so let me close this click on the device uh, devices name and this is the device id we will be needing so let's let me go step by step first we uh, you need to install postman if you do not have postman you can use the online version of the postman www.postman.com and then in the postman this is the authentication endpoint and then we'll be hitting the devices endpoint so first you have to type in your control room url in this case it's a community uh, control room so community url v1 and authentication this is the entire url i'll mention it in the description section after that you have to go to the bodies tab and enter your credentials I have entered my credentials over here of the control uh, of the community edi uh, edition user account. If you have some other user account, for, uh, admin user account, you can enter the credentials. Then you have to click on send and you will get a token. This token you need to utilize for making another API request. So let me copy this and go to the another tab. And here I have mentioned uh, the control room URL, then V2 devices and the reset. This is the endpoint. This is the endpoint API from where we will be resetting the, uh, our device. So then you have to go to the header section. You have to enter X authorization, X hyphen authorization key and the value and your token here. You have to paste the token which you got from the authentication request over here. Then you need to go to the bodies section and in bodies you need to mention your uh, device ID which we can get it from the control room over here. So 156186 is the ID. So let me paste it over here and then click on send so here status in the status if you get 204 no content that means uh, your request got successfully executed and the device got uh, removed you can now go to the in progress and log in back again so you can if you see in the in progress uh, activities tab you will not find any active bot deployment and now if you try to run this hello world bot you will be able to do so so you can see now the bot is running fine sometime if it does not run you can try restarting the bot agent service uh, you can go to serv uh, services and from here you can try to restart the automation anywhere bot agent service and then it should work uh, i hope this video was helpful to you and uh, you can refer to the all the details in the description section i'll provide a link as well uh, where you can follow the step by step guide in order to achieve this and use the api Thanks for watching. In case you do find this helpful, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.